everyone. This is Soul Sweat with Julia and I am Julia and here today I have for you an energizing morning flow. So this is to get you up, get you going, get your body moving and get a little energy pumping through you to start your day. Uh, if you have two blocks, grab two blocks. If you don't, soup cans, water bottle, something for a little extra length today in the hamstrings. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to have you start off laying all the way onto your back, and hands behind the hamstrings, roll yourself down. Once you get there, let's take the knees, knock them in towards one another, walk the outer edges of the feet towards the outer edges of the mat. Take one hand to the heart, one hand to the navel. Take a few moments here, blink the eyes closed. Let's start off by tapping in, checking in with you this morning. How are you feeling? What are you feeling and where are you feeling it? Just noticing if you're feeling a little sore or tight. Maybe you're just waking up and barely beginning to feel your body. Just take a couple moments, feel the fingertips resting on you, the feet on the mat. Notice if there's any coolness to the skin, any warmth. Let's start to check in a little bit deeper as you do move into your breath by taking a nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. Anything you need to release or let go of, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. One more time, inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Pause. Seal off your lips and press the air back out through your nose. As you start to transition into your ujjayi breath, building some heat in the body as you take the breath in and out through the nose with that soft hiss through the back of the throat. Right now, while you're here breathing, you want to set an intention, anything that you need to bring into your day. So what is it that you need today? Maybe it's to nurture yourself. Maybe you've got a busy day ahead. It's just about staying present. Maybe it's opening the heart or playing and having some fun before you get going with the responsibilities of life. Whatever that intention is right now, I want you to welcome that into your mind and breathe that energy into your heart and let it guide you through this practice. As you do, let's take one more nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. One more time, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Next breath, take those feet, heel toe them together, hug the knees into the chest, wrap around the shins, gentle rock side to side, release your lower back. Let's take some circles with the tops of your knees in one direction. And sweep those circles back the other direction. On your next breath, as you wrap the hands behind the hamstrings, as long as it's okay on your lower back, rock yourself along the length of your mat, massaging your spine, waking the body up, and pick yourself up and over onto all fours. Once you get there, wrists line up under the shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. And on your next inhale, Straight away, drag the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky. Just take a moment, pause, roll your shoulder blades down the back, and lift the collarbones up towards the ceiling in front of you. And as you exhale, tuck the chin dome through the spine. Pause here and give your head a little shake out in one direction, a little shake out the other direction. Once again, inhale, lift the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky, pause. As you exhale, drop that right ear to the right shoulder. And take that left shoulder a little bit further down the back, away from the ear. Inhale back through center, exhale to the other side. This time take the right shoulder a little bit further down the back, away from the ear. Inhale back through center, exhale, tuck the chin, push the earth away. It's about five or six rounds of cat-cow, starting to feel some movement in your body and your spine. Maybe you want to play with the movement, 
So wagging the hips side to side or shaking out the head along the way, swaying the shoulders, whatever you need this morning to get you going. Take two more breaths here. On your next breath, making your way back into center, neutral spine. Send down through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees, come into high plank pose. Top of a push up. Keep all 10 fingers separated nice and wide. A little micro bend to the elbows as you push the earth away more with the palms of the hands. Activate the muscles in the upper arms, the upper back. Yeah, we're just going to warm up the body right away. <laughs> Draw the navel in, lift the front ribs to the back of the body with this nice long line of energy from the crown of the head out through the heels. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And pedal into the feet, walk it out, bend the right knee, send the left heel down. Bend into the left knee, send the right heel down. Maybe finding a little twisting through the body, whatever you need. Again, just take a couple breaths here and start to work out those good morning kinks. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the heels down to the mat. One more time, inhale high up onto the toes. Exhale, heavy the heels to the earth. Let's take a couple breaths in stillness in this dog. As you wrap the biceps forward, triceps to the outer walls and the back of the room. And lift the sit bones up a little higher, maybe a bend into the knees. As you press the heels a little closer to the earth, take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, roll the body forward into high plank pose. Shoulders shift over the fingertips in a straight line, lower all the way down to the mat. Drop the knees if you need to on the way down. When you get to the bottom, untuck the toes, walk the hands back, wrist line up alongside the upper ribs. As you press into the tops of the feet, inhale, lift the heart, low cobra. Bring those big toes together, unless you have anything going on in the low back, then keep the feet hip distance. And you hug those elbows in a little tighter, the ribs, slide the heart a little bit longer in front of you. Exhale, lower down. Press into the tops of the feet, activate the legs, shins lift, heart lift, spine, that low cobra, moving from the strength of the thoracic spine. Exhale, lower down. One more time like this, coming up, maybe a little bit higher, maybe you're floating the hands, feeling the body work here. Take one more breath like this. Exhale, lower down. Then down through the palms, press over the knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Start to piece a vinyasa together here. Inhale, sliding forward, high plank pose. Drop the knees if you need. Shoulders shift over the fingertips. If you're ready for it, halfway down, chaturanga. Otherwise, going to the earth and coming through cobra. If you're ready for up dog, finding up dog, keeping the shins and the flat thighs floating in that up dog. And roll the shoulder blades down the back, pull the heart through. Take one more inhale here. Exhale from the core, hips up, chest back, downward facing. Again, as you glide the body forward, high plank, shoulders over fingertips, lower down, flip over the tops of the feet, find your back bend, heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing, one more time as we build that fire within. Slide it forward, lower down halfway, flip over the feet, come into your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale from the core, hips up, chest back, downward facing dog. Next inhale, drift the right leg up to the sky, turn the toes out to the side, bend the knee, open up the hip. Squaring off that right shoulder, so you circle the knee out in one direction. And sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen the right leg out, toes turn down, inhale. Exhale, slide it forward, right knee into the nose, shoulders over wrists. Step the foot in between the hands. Soften the left knee all the way down to the mat. I want you to grab your blocks here for this low lunge. Take the blocks, level three, the highest level. Allow your hips to dip down a little bit deeper. Just get that nice stretch through the hip flexors and the psoas. 
Take an inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back straight into that right leg. Half split, Ardha Hamana. Inhale as you re-bend into the right knee, pull the heart through. Exhale, back into half splits. One more time like this. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, straighten through that right leg. Inhale, find length through the spine, heart towards the toes. This time as you pause in Ardha Hamana, exhale, melt in all the way. Let the head drip heavy. Pulling that right hip crease back, pressing the ball of the foot, big toe side forward. One more breath here. Next breath, inhale, lift the heart, rebend into your right knee, arms rise up, low lunge. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath like this. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together overhead, lift the heart. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, float the knee. Take that left leg straight up to the sky, standing split. Feel free to grab those blocks if you need them. It is early, early in the morning, early in the practice. Right thumb hooks that right hip crease. Pull that right hip crease up a little higher. Mm, as you exhale, fold in. With that left hip facing towards the earth and the left pinky toe spiraling down. Take one more breath here. Next breath. Inhale, half lift onto the fingertips. Soften your right knee. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Feet hip distance apart. Interlace the knuckles at the lower back and send the knuckles up and over. Put a little bend into the elbows. Bring the palms a little closer together. And then lengthen the arms as you lift the shoulder heads. Maybe rock the wrist side to side, waking up the shoulders, the deltoids. As you let the crown of the head hang heavy. Let the hands come all the way down to the ground. Heel toe your feet in together to touch. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Circle the arms wide to standing. Take up space. Palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers. Release the index finger here for a steeple mudra. I want you to lengthen out the arms. Biceps spiral back, triceps forward. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, tip up and over to the right side. Finding this hot half moon shape here. And then take that right arm hip forward. On the left, a little higher to the sky as you pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. We want to fit our body, our entire body, in between two pieces of glass. You can use that right arm to take that left arm a little bit further towards the back right corner of your room as you take one more breath here. Inhale, rise it back up. Exhale, lifts you up and over to the left side. Same thing, take that left arm hip forward, pull the left hip back. Yeah, as you create that half moon shape in the body, you wanna create space through each rib and the side body, like an accordion stretching out. Stay pressing through the balls of the feet on both sides. Take one more breath here. And rise it back up through center. Part the arms, bend the elbows, lift the heart, goal post, find a back bend. Inhale, palms kiss at the top. Exhale, flat back dives you all the way down. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen the spine, Ardha. Exhale, soften the knees. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. Keep the left knee lifted straight away. Inhale, press and pose, arms rise. And take the hands to the hips, right hip pulls back, left forward. Tip those frontal hip bones up. Feel that low belly in. Maybe you have a little deeper bend into that left knee. Keep the heel, the left heel, over the ball of the foot. Get a little lightness, a little buoyancy, right? It's so easy to sink down in the morning, but grow a little bit taller as you take one more breath here. A little taller, a little lighter. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms overhead. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your right foot. Kick your right leg back. Maybe it's floating at the pot as you lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Mukha Svanasana. Straight away, set the feet together. Inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Turn the toes out, bend the knee, open it up. And find some circles. Circle that knee out in one direction. Sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen the left leg out, toes turn down, inhale. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step the foot through. Soften that right knee all the way down. Grab those blocks once again. Dip the hips down, lift the heart. Take an inhale here, sinking into it. Exhale as you shift the hips back, straighten that left leg, half splits. Inhale, re-bend the left knee, pull the heart through. Exhale, Ardha Hamana, left leg straightens. And one more time like this. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the heart. Exhale, shift the hips back, left leg straightens out. Press the heel forward, pull the toes back. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, pour your heart over your thigh. Breathing into the back of that left leg, left hamstring, one more breath. Next breath, inhale, lift the heart, re-bend the left knee. And rise the arms up, low lunge. Anjayasana, as you pull that left hip back, right forward, tip the frontal hip bones up to the chin. Keep the navel in and the front ribs softening to the back body. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together at the top. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes under, float the left knee into standing splits. Inhale, half lift onto the fingertips. Left thumb into that left hip crease. Pull that left hip crease up higher to the sky. Feel the sacrum flat. And you exhale, fold it in. Again, feel free to grab those blocks. And find a little bit more length through the hamstring with the blocks. Yeah. Let the crown of the head dangle towards the earth. Take one more breath here. Right pinky toe facing towards the mat. Next breath, half lift onto the fingertips, soften the left knee, and step the right foot hip distance apart at the top of the mat. I want you to switch the grip on the interlace so the awkward thumb is on top and send those knuckles back up and over. Again, feel free to rock the wrist side to side, waking up the shoulders, the deltoids. Take one more breath here. Let the hands come all the way down to the ground. Heel toe the feet in together to touch. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, circle the arms wide to standing, take up space, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, interlace the fingers, release the index, steeple mudra to grow tall as you inhale. Exhale, up and over to the right side, moving through a little quicker. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, takes you up and over to that left side. Inhale, back through center, part the arms, bend the elbows, heart lifts. Inhale, kiss the palms. Exhale, flat back, swan dive towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, as you soften into the knees, step the right foot to the back of the mat. A little deeper bend into that right knee, crescent pose. Inhale, arms rise, and pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Lift those frontal hip bones and pull the low belly in. Yeah. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together at the top, lift the heart. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your left foot. Kick your left leg back, maybe it's floating. Ekapad as you lower down for that vinyasa. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. I want to flow that whole thing out, breath to movement. Straight away, inhale, right leg drifts to the sky. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step it through. Melt your left knee down. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten that right leg, half splits. Inhale, re-bend the right knee, pull the heart through. Exhale, Ardha Hamana, and one more time like that. Inhale as you bend deep, and exhale, lengthen the right leg out. This time, straight away, inhale, lift the heart, re-bend the right knee, arms rise, 
low lunge, palms meet at the top. Exhale, hands down on either side of your right foot. Tuck the left toes under, float the legs, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. Soften the right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, straight into it, fingers to shins, Ardha, Ardha, excuse, Ardha Uttanasana, excuse me. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, circle the arms overhead to standing, palms meet. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers, release that index finger to grow tall, steeple mudra. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lift you up and over to the left. Inhale, back through center, part the arms. Goal post as you lift the heart. Inhale, kiss the palms. Exhale, swan dive towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen the spine, pull the heart through. Exhale, soften the knees, step that left foot back. One breath, crescent pose, arms rise. Inhale, palms kiss. Exhale, circle the hands down. On either side of your right foot, kick that right leg back, lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the feet, find your back, bend upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg drifts to the sky. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step it through. Drop that right knee all the way down. Grab the blocks, inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten it out, half splits. Inhale, rebend the left knee, pull the heart through. Exhale, Ardha Hamana. And one more time like that. Inhale as you bend the left knee, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten the left leg out. Once again, inhale, rebend the left knee. Tuck the right toes under, float the right leg to the sky, standing splits. Inhale, half lift onto the fingertips. Soften the left knee, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, reverse swan dive to standing. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, switch the grip on the interlace, awkward thumb on top. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, up and over to the right side. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lifts you up and over to the left side. Inhale, back through center. Part the arms, bend the elbows, heart to the sky. Inhale, kiss the palms overhead. Exhale, cascade towards the earth. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen Arda. Exhale, soften the knees, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, crescent pose, arms rise. Palms come together overhead. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your left foot. Send that left leg back. Maybe it's floating as you lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, find your back bend. Exhale, Adho Spanasana, downward facing dog. Nice deep inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Take a moment, drop the knees, bring the big toes together to touch. Child's pose, bringing the forehead, the third eye down onto the mat. Slow it down for a moment. Nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. I want you to come back into your intention. What is that energy that you're bringing in here for you today? What was that intention that you set for you for your day? Welcoming that energy right back in with this inhale, breathing it through each cell of your being. Exhale, stating that to the universe. Beautiful. Next breath, I want you to plant through the palms, tuck the toes, come back to down dog. We're going to take our whole flow once again and add on just the tiniest bit here. On your next inhale, drift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, right knee into the nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, kick it all the way up and back, three-legged. Exhale, right knee taps the right tricep, bring it up nice and high. Inhale, float it all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, spiral across the body, right to left tricep. Inhale, kick it all the way up and back, three-legged. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step it through. Soften the left knee all the way down to the mat. Grab the blocks, inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten into your right leg, hip shift back. Inhale, rebend the right knee, pull the heart through. 
exhale, hamstring stretch. And one more time like this, inhale, bend the right knee, lift the heart, exhale, Ardha Hamana. Next breath, inhale, re-bend the right knee, arms rise, low lunge, palms come together overhead. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of the right foot, tuck the left toes, float the left knee, standing splits. Inhale, half lift onto the fingertips, soften the right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, reverse swan dive to standing. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, release the index. Steeple mudra to grow tall. Exhale, up and over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lifts you up and over to the left. Inhale, back through center, part the arms. Bend the elbows, heart to the sky. Inhale, kiss the palms together overhead. Exhale, flat back, cascade towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, soften the knees, step the left foot to the back of the mat. One breath, inhale, press and pose. Arms rise, palms kiss. Listen to the change, lengthen into the right leg. As you heel to the right foot, to the left, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Pivot your left foot on its side. Yeah. Let's take that right knee over the ankle. Work in that for a 90 degree. Lift the right hip up off the thigh. Tip those frontal hip bones up, low belly in. Little bend to that left knee and drive through that left heel and outer edge of the foot. Lift the arch and activate your inner thigh. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, right palm flips to the sky. Reach back for the side body long. Reverse. Exhale, windmill the hands down on either side of your right foot. Kick your right leg back. Feel free to take this vinyasa. If you want to skip it, you're more than welcome to. We meet together in downward facing dog. Sanasana. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Sliding forward, exhale, left knee into the nose. Inhale, kick it up and back, three-legged. Exhale, left knee, left tricep nice and high. Inhale, drift it all the way up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, coil left to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step it through. Drop the right knee all the way down and grab those blocks. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, half splits. Once again, inhale, re-bend the left knee. Pull the heart high. Exhale, lengthen it out. One more time like this. Inhale, re-bend. And exhale to extend. This time, re-bend that left knee. Rise the arms, low lunge. Inhale, palms meet overhead. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes under, float the legs, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. Soften the left knee, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, grow the heart through. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms wide to standing. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up. Switch the grip on the interlace to grow tall. Exhale, up and over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lifts you up and over to the left. Inhale, back through center. Goal post the arms. Shine the heart to the sky. Inhale, palms meet at the top. Exhale, big swan dive towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, soften the knees. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, crescent pose, arms rise. Here's where we change. Kiss the palms together at the top. Exhale, you blossom into warrior two. Front heel, back arch. Left toes straight forward. Right toes slightly forward. And keep that nice deep bend in the left knee. Pick that left hip up off the thigh. Draw the low belly in as you lengthen the tailbone down. Keep hugging that left glute to the center of your body and up towards the ceiling. Yeah, keep it lifted there. Growing taller through the crown of the head as you take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, dance it back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands down on either side of your left foot. Extend that left leg back, it's your final vinyasa. Feel free to take it or leave it. We meet together in downward facing dog. Nice deep inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. 
Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Drop the knees, big toes together, child's pose. And take a couple moments as you return. Nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. One more time, inhale, fill it up. And exhale, letting that air move back out through you. And slowly roll it up here, one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, shift the hips off to the right. Swing the legs around to the left in front of you. All right. Once you take the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall open. Come into a Baddha Konasana. Right hip walks back, left hip walks back. Yogi lock grip, peace fingers and thumbs around your big toes. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, glide the heart forward. Keep the heart moving forward for as long as you can. When you can't move forward anymore, let the crown of the head drip towards the earth. Maybe the elbows are pressing gently into the inner thighs. Maybe the arms are lengthening out alongside the ears. Whatever is calling to you. Try to keep that length through your lower back. Yeah, so once again, inhale, grow the spine a little longer. Exhale, melt in a little bit deeper. Take one more breath here. And on your next breath, slowly walk the hands up one at a time. Take the hands outside your knees, lift the knees up towards the ceiling, and both legs out in front of you. And give your leg Little rock, rock, side to side. Let's send the fingertips forward. Pull the toes back as we roll all the way down onto the mat for the count of six. Keeping it slow and controlled for five. Slowing down in the moments that you want to speed up on four. Three. Two. Let it go. On one. When you get to the bottom, tuck your knees into your chest. Tuck around the shins. And rock it out side to side. Release your lower back. Have yeah, you drop the feet down to the ground. Middle fingers graze the backs of your heels. Press into the feet. Lift the hips up. Find a nice bridge here. Active bridge, right? Like our little yogi shot of caffeine. Swap that right shoulder under the body. Left shoulder under the body. Interlace the knuckles as you draw them towards the heels. Shine the heart towards the world behind you. I'm just going to... Do one back bend here today. I'm going to hold it for a few more breaths. My recommendation just for evenness of the body, release the interlace here for a moment and then switch so the opposite thumb is on top and then scooch that left shoulder a little bit more under the body then the right shoulder a little bit more under the body. From there, try not to over squeeze the glutes. Use the strength of the hamstrings the spine to help keep you lifted. Take one more breath here. Next breath, release that interlace. Slowly lower all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, hug your knees into your chest. Rocking side to side. One more time, releasing the lower back. Let's shift both hips over to the right. As you inhale and as you exhale, twist both knees across the body to the left. Maybe just taking a peek to see if you can see the toes just peeking out from below your knees. Allow your right shoulder to melt open. Take one more breath here. On your next breath, hugging the knees back into center. And shift the hips. Over to the left, we're moving straight into it. Drop both knees across the body to the right. Taking that supine twist the other direction. Allow your left shoulder to fall open. Any pinching in the low back, scoop the right hip a little bit more to the left side of the mat. Nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. 
And staying present in these final moments of our practice as you take one more breath here. And our next breath, take both knees back into center. Hug around the shins. Take a nice deep inhale here. Lift the forehead up to the knees. Squeeze everything into a tiny little ball. Hugging up higher, squeezing in tighter. Take one more sip of air in. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it all fall open. Taking a couple moments here for yourself in Shavasana, your final resting pose. Next breath. If you're ready to come out of Shavasana, coming out with me now. Otherwise, taking the time that you need for you and your practice. We wiggle into the fingers, into the toes, circling out the ankles, the wrists. And with the eyes closed, gently rock over to the right side. Pause in a fetal position, this pose of new beginnings. And just allowing this to be your beginning here today. And with those eyes closed, gently press up to a cross-legged seated position on your yoga mat. Palms together at heart center, prayer position, Anjali Mudra. And you return back into you, your heart, your breath, this beautiful energy that you've created here for yourself today, this gift that you've given to you. I want you to think about that intention that you set one more time as you feel this energy that moves so alive within you and dances around you. I want you to let this energy soak into each cell of your being, knowing that you filled yourself up from the crown of the head through the tippy toes. So important that we take the time for ourselves at least a few moments each and every day to give back, to put the oxygen mask on ourselves first before we put it on the rest of the world. So this is your oxygen mask here today and I'm keeping this with you as you walk throughout the rest of your day. I thank you so very much for practicing with me, for sharing your light, your energy with me and allowing me to share mine with you. Namaste.